There's a saying it takes a lot of beer to make good wine. Well, it also takes a lot of fine winemakers to make good music. That's why I'm meeting David Pack at Gargiulo Vineyards in Napa Valley. David produced the Napa Crossroads CD with local wine country musicians, and it all started here. Hey, David. Hi. So How good are to you? See you? Very well, thanks. Right. How are you? Gorgeous good to see day. you. Mwah. All right. Welcome to Gargiulo Vineyards. What a beautiful place. I love it. Staggering, isn't it? Yeah, it is. There's some little uh, purple friends that want to meet you out here. Oh, great. Let's go find them. <laughs> what a spectacular view. It's so gorgeous. It's just crazy beautiful. This is my, it is. My heaven on earth spot, you know? Yeah, I love it. The grapes are, uh, grapes are my friends. <laughs> <laughs> grapes are my friends. <laughs> Call David a song catcher, the Pied Piper of Napa Valley. He brought together five vintners to create the Napa Crossroads CD, a labor of love five years in the making. The former lead singer of Ambrosia and Grammy award-winning record producer considers himself a wine geek. He's been visiting Napa for 30 years. Well, I'm, I'm into the real art of fine winemaking. Absolutely. I think that's what makes the difference. Is you understand it's very complex art. Also wanting it to still be a greatest hit in 20 or 30 years. Exactly, so there are parallels between the art of making music and a fine winemaking. David was playing at the Gargiulo Vineyards Harvest Party in 2006 when inspiration struck. You know, I found that a lot of the winemakers are privately want to be rock stars. Well, Napa Crossroads just came from um, the joy of watching these wine owners, the CEOs of Silver Oak and Gargiulo Vineyards and Barniente jamming, yeah. celebrating their harvest. And today, I'm lucky enough to find myself in one of these jam sessions with David, Jeff Gargiulo, and Larry McGuire. I'm a wine girl, baby. They put guitars on and they became like 18-year-old kids. Yeah, yeah. Well, and they're just just singing their hearts out, and there's no inhibition. I have a real good time. The making of Napa Crossroads started here at Gargiulo Vineyards when Jeff asked David to help write a song for his daughter April's wedding. We wrote a song with Billy Dean, the country star, and we sang it for his daughter's wedding here at the winery. I won't forget how I feel today, my April born. Everybody was crying, and the idea went off like, wait a minute, well, what, why couldn't we do a whole record yeah. of real songs, real stories? That song, April Born in May, became the first song for the Napa Crossroads CD. Now David needed more music. He met with vintners like Larry McGuire, CEO of Farniente Winery. He closed the door of his office and goes, well, I'll tell you a little secret, I've been writing songs for like... 25 years. Larry, who plays guitar, shared some of those songs. Then David worked his magic on them. For Larry, finally having his songs recorded and heard was something he never imagined. Working with David, you really had your dream come true. Uh, I did have my dream come true. I mean, to play on stage with David Pack and Alan Parsons, uh, I mean, that really is the ultimate. And, and to actually go onto iTunes and and see my music. Carmen Policy, the former president of the San Francisco 49ers and now owner of the Casa Piano Winery, also contributed two songs. It sounds like he had the time of his life working on it. He had a great time, you know, and he's like, David, I've never written a song in my life. It goes, help me through this process. So, and I will say, well, just tell, talk to me about, you know, what, what is your joy in life? When you have a full house, then you have a full heart. I'm like, let me write that down. <laughs> full house, full, full heart, heart, harm and policy. Keeping it local, David invited other Napa Valley musicians to be part of the CD. Jeff Gargiulo has started up, and David Duncan, the CEO of Silver Oak, yeah. they've started this very cool Ventner band called the Silverado Pickups. They wrote a song authentic song called Wine Country Cowboy. Wine Country Cowboy, Wine Country Cowboy till I die. <laughs> Shane Soldinger from Soldinger Vineyards, mm -hmm. he, he wrote, they, the band came up with the concept, but then Shane went home and actually wrote the song. 
And so there you go, you've got your local Napa authentic song about the life of a winemaker. David invited country music star Jimmy Wayne to sing it with Shane, and of course the song made the Napa Crossroads album. Now all this wine country CD needed was a proper coming out party, and the city winery Napa was the perfect venue. Tonight, David Pack's vision to create a CD that would celebrate the lifestyle and special moments here in Napa is going to come to life on the stage at City Winery. Ladies and gentlemen, is everybody ready for the world debut at Napa Crossroads? This project was begun on Jeff Gargiulo's back porch. Well, sort of. I think it really was begun with David Pack, who has had an unbelievable passion for Napa Valley. David Pack makes dreams come true. That's Suzanne Pride of Pride Mountain Vineyards, who worked with David on lyrics for two songs. He recorded a lot of it up at our family's red house next door to the winery. David performs You Were the One, a song he wrote at Pride Winery. That was an inspiration from my mother, Carolyn Pride, but Dad was really the vision behind the winery, and without him, it wouldn't have happened. So he was the one in her heart. It, it just rocks my soul. Silver Oak CEO David Duncan also contributed two songs. David Duncan sings his butt off, and he goes for it. I just love it. David started writing Every Time I Look at You about his wife. He took the song to David Pack, who added lyrics about his wife. David, what's it like going from being a vintner to a published music artist now? Well, it's fun, and we're, we've been having a good time, but we promised each other that it was going to be about the friendships and the wine first. For the finale, the musicians gather on stage for a lively rendition of Wine Country Cowboy. The musical journey to Napa Crossroads has been long, but deeply personal for all involved. David Pack says it's only the beginning. When you see an eagle soaring over the vineyards, that's my spirit, you know. My soul is in the soil and my blood runs through these vines. I'm going to be probably the rest of my life trying to uh, create art connected to Napa Valley because I love it that much. Yeah,